Welcome to Could It Exist in Real Life, where everyone is Irish for the day. As you no doubt have guessed, today is St. Patrick's Day, the only day of the year where you can dress in the only green shirt you have in your closet, get drunk, and binge listen to many ballads as you can before your head explodes. But that's not all I plan to do. No, I plan to talk about one of the most underrated horror movies in the world. This is Leprechaun. Leprechaun was a series of movies that starred former Ewok Warwick Davis as the title role. Oh yeah, that's real authentic to having those actors play an Irish folk legend. <laughs> oh, but I kid. Wicked here is a great actor, and he does his damn hardest to put on a good show regardless of the role. And he was clearly having fun with this one. The movie spawned five sequels and a prequel, which had the Irish theme wrestler Hornswoggle take over as the role. With the exception of Origins, Davis was one of the few actors in the world who played the title character the longest. The others being uh, Doug Bradley of Hellraiser and Robert England of Nightmare on Elm Street. But for our simplicity's sake, we are only looking through the first movie. The movie goes like so. The Leprechaun's gold gets stolen, and he goes to North Dakota to get it back, killing those who get in his way before being sealed up. Years later, a family moves into the house he was sealed up in, and they accidentally unleash him. He begins to wreak havoc once again while trying to get the rest of his gold back. Now there's no way this could exist, right? Sort of. I say that because in order to prove the Leprechaun is real, you have to look into a bit of the history first. The Leprechaun was believed to be first discovered by a man named Fergus MacLeddy, who was believed to be the king of the province Uster. He was abducted by three small beings called water sprites. He captures his captors and they in turn grant him three wishes, not unlike genies. This was believed to be the earliest time that leprechauns were well known. However, since Fergus here has an unknown chronology, he may be just as fake as the water sprites that captured him. However, upon looking up Fergus, I discovered that he was associated with the High King Khan of the Hundred Battles. Since it was recorded that Khan died around 157 AD, it would mean that Fergus may have been around some time before his death. Find Khan and you find Fergus. Find Fergus and you may find leprechauns. As usual, debate, argue, let me know what I missed. Stay tuned for more.